Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2023 Grand Design Transcend model number 265BH. My favorite Transcend floor plan. I love the open bunks on this guy. We get a couch, we get a dinette, we get a separate front queen. We hang around 6,800 pounds or so. This is going to have you cutting onions with sunglasses on. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan. B. Anamar. How's it going, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. You should smash that like and subscribe button. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, we're also on Facebook if you want to follow us on, along there. The comment section's open. Leave us some comments, ask, ask us some questions. Would you do the U-shaped dinette in this model, or would you do the three-seat recliner that comes with the standalone table? Let me know. Great question, Brendan. I've got one for you, buddy. Okay. What's uh, your name again? Anthony. Anthony, really? Yeah, yeah. B.A. Oh. Hanemeyer. B.A. Hanemeyer. Front power <laughs> jack, 20 power paint tanks, battery and box location right in behind there. Wood frame, aluminum skin on these transcends, but the aluminum skin is thick. It's 33% uh, thicker than your standard stuff you're going to see, so it's going to be harder to dent. It's also got a nice flat finish to it, so it looks different than any other aluminum skin trailer out there. There's your pass-through storage going all the way through there. Up and through here, we have our 25 amp charge controller. That controls the amount of amperage that goes to our battery off the solar panel. We got our city water connection, our battery disconnect, our solar display, cable satellite inlet, and an outside receptacle right in through here. Four stabilizer jacks that are manual, one on each corner of the trailer, a black water flush kit, our sewer drain down here, rack and pinion style slide, pulling our U-shaped dinette or a theater seat off the floor, six gallon gas electric water heater, 30 amp detachable style cord, a roof ladder. So I want you up on your roof, checking your seals every 90 days. Storage here at the backside, this would be a great spot to put a fridge. So you think, Brendan? Yep, so that's because they gave us a plug. Gave us a plug, motion sense of light, full size spare. We're gonna put that beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. Fresh water fill here, outside spray port, double entrance. And the double entrance is important because we can get to the fridge from this side and the bunks and everything like that, and then we get to the bathroom from the other side. Our electric awning does not have LED lights, but we have an LED porch light right here. Outside speakers, range hood vent, furnace vent. What size tires, Brandon, 15s? 15s. 15 inch Westlake tires. We got the other side of our pass-through storage. Nice little spot here for a flag. Let's have a look inside. Right on, folks. We're inside that Transcend 265 BH. We have a nice rear entry where we walk right in. We've got a spot to sit down. <clears throat> we have the bunks right behind us. They're sideways double bunks, which feels nice and open. And this whole floor plan feels like a rear living room with bunks tacked onto it. Uh, this is gonna roll over, or actually it's a jack knife, that's right. Goes up and down for a secondary bed. And then we do have storage underneath this bed that pop down pieces here, okay? And then <clears throat> we've got drawers built into the stairs, which is great. Nice little spot right here. And then a wardrobe right here for all the kids stuff. Windows in both bunks, lights in both bunks. And I like how we have this big window beside the bunk, but USB and receptacles are shared by the kids right through there. A U-shaped dinette. Now, Brennan's right. You could do a three-seater theater seat in through here with a standalone table. This is still my go-to, Brennan. It's probably <clears throat> the favorite. We sold a lot of the recliners this year. It all of a sudden became like a popular thing, but the U-shape was always the favorite. I think the thought behind the theater seat is that you have a family of five or four in through here. You can actually all sit around and enjoy a movie because you're across from the TV. That's really, really nice. But, uh, you know, obviously pros and cons in through there. Storage underneath the dinette. <clears throat> All right, and then we're into our eight cubic foot 12 volt fridge. So our solar panels charging our battery. Our battery's operating our fridge, nice and efficient going down the road. And then we got another drawer right through here. Now into the kitchen, because the kitchen's really killer on this. Undermount stainless steel sink, seamless countertops, cupboard space there for a couple garbage cans. Big drawer right through here. Oven that lights up. Blue lights on the oven knobs, glass stovetop cover over top of our three burner stovetop, our receptacle, a window, and then two more drawers here in our kitchen. But the counter space here is awesome. And then our TV is across from our dinette. It is on arms. If you want to bring this out, have it face the bunks, have it face the couch, however you want to do that, that's slick. Cupboard space here. Shelf right here, microwave range hood, more storage there for plates and cups. And then you've got some cups and bowl space right in through there. Now into the bathroom, Brennan. 
This is why that secondary door is so necessary. We can get to the bathroom off the side of the road. We've got a porcelain style toilet. The dump truck fits in through here. Great width around here, great foot space. We've got some shelves over there, seamless countertops, towel bar holder, medicine cabinet, sink, and then one more cupboard right through there. That's exceptional. Up into the shower, Brendan. <clears throat> I'm six feet tall, got my cowboy boots on today, so I'm a little taller than normal, but I still fit in through here. Nice Nautilus style door, and then the linen closet to my left there. Coming out of the bathroom into the bedroom, this is a full 60 by 80 inch queen, which is a theme for Grand Design. Drawer here, hanging storage on both sides, open shelf above, and a nice uh, headboard in through there. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It is up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below, and have yourself a good day.